Right, back to this room. And uh, what I'm going to try and do this time is land just after the spike. Or as, as close as I can to it, hopefully without touching it. And hopefully that won't trigger it. Excellent. Right, now one of these is going to fall absolutely for certain. Oh, okay, fine. That's going to happen instead. Final secret. Uh, oh, no, no, not final secret. Final secret of the four paths. And let's now move on to the boss. Right, back to the gimmick before with the little lasers and the shots and everything, which you've got to be very careful to avoid. One eye each, obviously. Hit him in his nose. It basically just circles the room. Um, I believe which direction he comes at is somewhat random. He also then, uh, after a certain point or a certain number of circles around the round the room, he will shoot a blue sphere at you. They're the same blue sphere as before that will troll around the walls. And um, if you're on their same eye line direction as 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 the blue as the sphere, then it will uh, move towards you <laughs> quickly. Much quicker than it normally does when it's rolling around on the walls. Uh, I think this boss was possibly... Probably the second hardest when I first played it, but that's because I was having such a hell of a, hell of a time with the Guitar Hero boss. But now that I'm a lot better at that, I probably have to uh, re-evaluate. And I'd probably, put this, I'd probably put this as the hardest, certainly the hardest of the four, the four bosses. Oh, this isn't going to be good. <laughs> yep. Terrible. Unfortunately, having to wait for this thing at the start of every, uh, of every fight is uh, a little tedious as well. But, uh... But yeah, my I I don't know if they I don't know what the optimal kind of strategy is. I just tend to stay mostly at the top uh, on this top platform because you get a good opportunity to hit him quite a few times in the nose before he uh, oh come on that didn't hit me surely um, yeah before the either the laser or the shots get a chance to hit you usually. Uh, and then you've got a, a decent place to kind of immediately duck down out of the way. Um, so it doesn't seem to be working all that well at the moment. But, but uh, you can also kind of stand uh, at the bottom there and, do, and fire off a whole bunch of shots as well. And uh, if you get into a good rhythm on this, then you can usually take him out, I think, before he starts shooting too many of the blue spheres, which are really the, the main irritants of this fight, um, or in my opinion anyway take them out of the equation and uh, and the rest is it seems reasonably straightforward I could do without these this colossal lag thanks he's gonna go for the middle in a minute so I'm just being very conscious to get out of the way head back up to the top again unfortunately that's right in my flipping eye line Oh, come on! He froze me as I killed him, so he just stood there in mid-air while it probably shot a at me or something. Probably one of the spheres came and got me. Excuse me when I beat that cheating. God. That actually didn't take too long to beat him there as a first go. I can't believe you just cheated me there at the end. That was bull. But uh, yeah, overall that wasn't too bad. I'm, you know, if I can get 
get it again without the, the dick move at the end there then that might this might go okay oh that was terrible oh yeah 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 oh god god this is not good because I'm completely out of a rhythm here And I can't get into any kind of rhythm now because these spheres are just at the worst possible points in time, really. He's probably going to head for the middle again in a second and shoot another one. <coughs> if you put that many on screen, you're going to be a pain. Again for this boss. And as you probably kind of saw perhaps on my last couple of attempts, the trick to this one I think really is taking it down quickly. If it spawns lots of the blue spheres, probably trying to get too many hits in there, but if it spawns lots of blue spheres then ultimately it just it just completely fills the screen. As you kind of saw on the last, I think on the last uh, couple of goes or something. I just found like I had nowhere to go really. I was trying to dodge the blue spheres, um, and you know I was still um, getting caught by the bullets and everything like that. The, the thing shoots and the laser as well. So it's yeah, it's in, in almost imperative that you kind of take this thing out quickly before it still spawns too many blue spheres. Otherwise, it just ends up with an un un unmanageable screen. Oh, and you want to be a complete dick there, didn't you? Whoa. Are you coming up again or are you going... Oh! Ow! Strike being a dick before. That was the ultimate dick move that you could possibly have pulled off. Why did you go straight up? That's... Mm. Yeah, that's not good. I call foul. Right, I don't think you could... yeah. Oops! Ah. Great, this thing is going to be right in my freaking eye line now. I think, what? Well, yeah, if you get if you get the blue sphere in a pat in in a place where the pattern is not nice, then this becomes difficult. Please don't head straight up. All right. Second time you move to the middle, I am not going to go straight to the top because apparently you like seem to like going there. I thought it was somewhat random, but maybe it is. But if you do, get, if I am standing here and you do go up, then I seem to have got absolutely zero chance of dodging it. So. Let's not do that in the future. I think this is a reasonably decent strategy I'm employing for actually getting off quite a few shots. I think, anyway. Thanks for the failed double jump. Couldn't there have been a skip thing at the beginning of this fight? Not that it takes forever, but still. As far as I remember, the other ones all just seem to kind of transition straight into the into the fight. 
maybe there's a bit of a delay with Wham Bam Rock, but not certainly not the other two. This one, it seems like you've got to wait 10, 15 seconds at the start of each fight for it to materialise on screen and then start moving around. Aha! I think this blue sphere is going to behave this time. I think. Oh, why did I jump down there? And he's moved to the middle, just when I was going to do it. I missed my jump though, I missed my chance to get back up to the top and uh, pummel him there, so that was partially my fault. But I don't seem to be doing a good job of reading where he's going to move at the moment, or how many times. I swear he kind of circles about two and a half times before moving to the middle, but maybe maybe they, maybe he is, maybe I'm just yeah, losing track, losing count, etc. The blue sphere is this can be very off-putting in that regard. Um, are you going down or up? You've gone down. Very helpful. Oh, he's gone to the middle! Damn it! Please don't go up. Please do not go vertically up. <sighs> right, this time I've not been frozen, and this time the blue spheres are not going to come anywhere near me. Ha! Whoop-de-doo. Time to cut.